welcome dear friends let us solve the next problem on assessment of individuals look at this problem you have been given the profit and loss account of an individual mr patel and you are required to compute his total income okay before proceeding further have a look at the credit side of the profit and loss account okay so on the credit side there is gross profit indicating that the assessee has income under the head business okay then there is interest on tax free debentures okay this is taxable under the head income from other sources okay then interest on public provident fund is there it is an exempted income okay then dividend on shares of foreign company is also taxable under the head income from other source then lastly there is rent from house property indicating that the assessee has income under the head house property okay so here the assessee is having income under the head business house property and other sources we have to calculate his income under all these three heads first okay let us solve it now first right number 1 income from business income from business underline maadi under that net profit as per profit and loss account net profit as per profit and loss account 1,23,870 1,23,870 add expenses disallowed expenses disallowed slash chargeable under other heads chargeable under other heads now look at the debit side of profit and loss account salary to staff allowed salary to proprietor disallowed to salary to proprietor in our column 22200 general expenses allowed there is one additional information relating to this item look at it includes rupees 1100 being compensation paid to an employee on termination of his service in the interest of business this is also allowed that means entire general expenses are allowed okay rent allowed interest on loan allowed income tax disallowed income tax 4500 advertising allowed bad debts allowed reserve for doubtful debts disallowed reserve for doubtful debts 1000 fire insurance allowed then car expenses 4800 is there there is one additional information relating to this item look at one third of the car expenses were related to his private purposes that means one third of the car expenses relating to personal use is disallowed Okay, so car expenses four thousand eight hundred into one by three one thousand six hundred. Okay, then legal charges four hundred and eighty is there. There is one additional information relating to this. Look at legal expenses paid were related to purchase of land. Therefore, 
legal expenses becomes a capital expenditure which is disallowed legal charges 418 furniture purchased disallowed capital expenditure furniture purchased 2500 Life insurance premium disallowed six thousand. Contribution to public provident fund disallowed two thousand. Donation disallowed five thousand. Wealth tax disallowed six hundred. Puja expenses allowed. Repairs to machinery allowed. Depreciation <coughs> charged is eight thousand. Look at additional information. Admissible depreciation amount at two rupees six thousand. That means there is excess depreciation charged amounting to rupees two thousand, which is disallowed. So excess depreciation two thousand. Okay. now total all these disallowed expenses and put it in the outer column it comes to 47880 47880 add it to net profit total comes to 171750 less incomes chargeable under other heads incomes chargeable under other heads slash exempt from tax slash exempt from tax look at the credit side now gross profit business income interest on tax free debentures is not a business income it is income from other source therefore it is to be deducted interest on tax free debentures interest on tax free debentures 3600 interest on ppf exempted income idu interest on ppf 1100 dividend on shares of foreign company 5400 rent from house property 28000 total up and put the figure in the outer column Thirty-eight thousand one hundred. Thirty-eight thousand one hundred. Deduct it. One lakh thirty-three thousand six fifty income from business. Income from business one lakh thirty-three thousand six fifty. Next number two. Income from house property. income from house property under that gross annual value here in the problem you see municipal value fair rental value standard rent right all these have not been given only actual rent is given so actual rent itself becomes gross annual value clear so gross annual value In bracket actual rent in the inner column twenty eight thousand less municipal taxes paid. Yeah, that could tell us. Agagi gross annual value ne annual value agatte right less standard deduction standard deduction under section twenty four. 
8,400 in the outer column 19,600 next look number 3 income from other sources income from other sources under that interest on tax free debentures interest on tax free debentures see here these are tax free commercial securities right rules for grossing up net nalli irbeku nimage tax free commercial securities agidre eno net interest received kottirli rate of interest kottirli gross up madle beku illi 3600 en kottide idu net interest received hagagi idanna gross up madbeku 3600 into 100 by 90 3600 100 by 90 in the inner column 4000 next item dividend from foreign company dividend from foreign company 5400 total in the outer column 9400 total of the outer column 133650 plus 19600 plus 9400 total comes to 162650 One lakh sixty-two thousand six fifty gross total income. Gross total income. Under that, less deductions under Chapter Six A. Deductions under Chapter Six A. Problem ana nor kore. ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಎದಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವುದ್ಯಾವುದು ಅಲೋವೆಬಲ್ ಡಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಇದೆ ಅಂಡರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇ ಟಿ ಸಿ ನೋಡಿ ಲೈಫ್ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯಮ್ ಪೇಯ್ಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇದೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಲಿಜಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇ ಟಿ ಸಿ ಹಾಗೆಯೇ ಕಾಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಟು ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ಪ್ರಾವಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇದೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಎಲಿಜಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಸೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಇ ಟಿ ಸಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಅಂಡರ್ ದಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇನ್ಶೂರೆನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೀಮಿಯಮ್ Life insurance premium six thousand. Contribution to PPF. Contribution to PPF two thousand. Total eight thousand in our column. Okay. Then look at the debit side of the problem. There is donation rupees five thousand. Additional information last one more day. Before that, life insurance premium was paid on a policy of sixty-five thousand. Did you know? Clear. Donation paid is to the National Illness Assistance Fund. Right. Donation से के संबंध पढ़ा गये. Section eighty G नले deduction से करते. Right. So ये section eighty G ये नहीं थे. ये तो सब पर complicated आगे रोज़ रिंदा आगे नानो. ಡೀಟೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಮಾಡಿಲ್ಲ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಇದಕ್ಕೆ ಡೊನೇಷನ್ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟ ಹಾಗೆ ನೆನಪಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿರಿ ಡೊನೇಷನ್ ಟು ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ಲು ಅಥವಾ ಪ್ರೈಮ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಅನ್ನುವಂಥ ವರ್ಡ್ ಬಂದರೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ರೈಟ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಡಿಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಂಡು ಓಕೆ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಇಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಂಡು ಆಯಿತಾ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿ ಪ್ರೈಮ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಡ್ರಾಟ್ ರಿಲೀಫ್ ಫಂಡು ಪ್ರೈಮ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ರಿಲೀಫ್ ಫಂಡು ಈ ಥರದ್ದೆಲ್ಲ ಬಂದರೆ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ಲು ಪ್ರೈಮ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರು ಆ ವರ್ಡ್ ಇತ್ತು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಡೊನೇಷನ್ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟ ಹಾಗೆ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಬಿಡಿ ಡಿಡಕ್ಷನನ್ನು ಇದನ್ನು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬೇರೆ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ರೂ ಇದ್ದರೆ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತಾಯ್ತಾ ಸೊ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ಲು ಪ್ರೈಮ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರು ಬಂದರೆ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಈಗ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಇಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಅಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಫಂಡ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಡೊನೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಡಕ್ಟಿಬಲ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟು 
section 80g section 80g nan illi section 80g bittidene right section 80g donation to national illness assistance fund donation to national illness assistance fund 100% 100% percent andre donation kottid 5000 ide nodi 5000 poorthi agi deductible okay so in the inner column 5000 total in the outer column 13000 so total income 149650 okay followed so this completes our discussion on assessment of individuals right illi en antandre gross total income oregu kuda neevu kalthanta 5 heads ina income en idiyala idanna nodkondu calculation maartta barbeku aamele chapter 6 a nalli deduction samanyavagi atc mattu atg erade section nu irutte odaita idanna kodbeku clear okay uh, next to Capital Gains Chapter na one do atwa erad class revision martine and that completes our discussion on income tax of 6th semester. Till then, goodbye.